if the money was the same, would you still have taken A&M? Uh, very possibly, yes. I mean, you know, you don't like to move, but sometimes it is, and it's inevitable that changes are made in life, and God puts things in front of you for a reason. I was very happy where I was, loved where I was, and everything else. And there's some resources. It's an untapped potential, and you've got a great recruiting base. And I had a great – and then not that I didn't have a great relationship. Our threat president, AD, we had a very good relationship. And I've known Scott Woodward. He was at LSU when we flipped that thing down there with, with Coach Saban. And I knew his commitment to doing things. He was at Washington, and they were able to turn that thing around and, and the direction they're going. And it was it was a great challenge to be able to come down here, and, and, and it's something I just want to be a part of. But it feels like there was uh, – there, there's still, I don't know, exposed feelings here, harder feelings with leaving Florida State or what happened, didn't happen. Uh, explain that to no. me. No. I mean, feelings, I guess, anytime you leave. But the president asked me on Friday if I, I was going to make a, coach the game, make a decision on Saturday night, Sunday morning, what our future was. Because I only had about it. You know, I had been contacted earlier in that week that that was a possibility. And, he, and the president asked me to make a decision on Friday which I did about, he called me. And so I went over to his office around 1130, 12 is somewhere in that range. And we sit down and talked and I, and I say, no, I, you know, make a decision for the betterment of the team. And, and I said, we'll go keep it completely quiet between you and I. And then I'll have a team meeting at two o'clock and tell our players, oh, and, okay. uh, which is always the toughest by far and what we were doing. And so I had a team meeting at two o'clock, but I guess about 10 minutes before somehow I could never say anything. It, it, I'll have no idea how it got out because the only people who talked was he and I hmm. that even knew. And uh, about 10 minutes before it did, but they were, the kids were already in the meeting room. And I walked in the meeting room and, and told them, and it was extremely hard, very tough. Uh, had no plans of ever doing it. I, had a, I was, I'd already done a game plan and we had worked all week and I'd rescheduled ULM to be a game. I mean, you know, you, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have done that. So there was no inclination of going anywhere. And so I walked in at two o'clock and had to tell our team. And it was a very, very tough. And that was on, it was tough on me. Cause I love those kids and I always have. And, uh, but you know, they understood, and I've had a million of them tweet me and kind of call me since I've been here and totally understand, and that we still have communication on things. And uh, But it, it's extremely tough. He's Jimbo Fisher, Texas A&M head coach. You said it was a no-brainer to go to A&M. Why? Well, as I, as I said back in the end when I started the reason about after I got here with, you know, with Scott Woodward, the commitment they're having here, the, the resources which they have here and the recruiting base they have here. And, you know, there were some opportunities here that it just, like you say, for the betterment of everything from your family to everything. I have tremendous respect and love for Florida State. Always have. I was a Florida State fan growing up. and uh, But the commitment and the relationship he and I had and the vision in which they had for what the future they want to be. And, you know, you want to be one of the first guys to be able to help them go do that. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.